If a fish is responsible for unexplained drownings here, then it would have to be both strong enough to survive the rapids and big enough to pull in a man. Yet somehow, it has remained hidden from sight. To this day, a fisherman called Jaconia is still unsure how his brother disappeared. Two years ago, they set out in opposite directions to fish the gorge, planning to meet up later at their camp. Only Jaconia returned. When you came back to the camp, your, your, your brother didn't come. I went to look for him. Mm. So I found the shoes and his trousers. So shoes and trousers, and, and that was all? Yeah. Found the line. Oh, you found the line? Exactly. Ah, uh, and the line was, was, was OK. So I take mine and throw it. To that line. Right. To take it out. So that is the thing they showed me. This guy they come with water. Did you get the hook back? And I take the line out. No hook. The absence of a hook makes me suspicious. Hooks don't just fall off. Perhaps something ripped it off the line. Further downstream, a croc would be the prime candidate, but they avoid rapids. So I asked Jaconia if there are any How big, big fish in the river. How big do they grow? Uh, and he says there are. So this... And some of it is so, like me. So same size as you? Yeah. Yeah. It's big like this. That's the, that's the body? Yeah. OK. And how long to, to, to get a, a big one? How long to, to bring... To bring it, it's almost one hour, 30 minutes. One hour, 30 minutes? Yeah. Human beings are out of their element in water. From my own experiments, I've shown that even a fish a third of my weight could drag me under. The beast Jaconia is describing easily outstrips that. Many languages are spoken in these former British territories, mm -hmm. but Jaconia can't give me the fish's English name. Uh, yeah. So this, this big fish, what does it look like? It looks like a snake. My first real clue, a snake-like fish that grows to the size of a man. But where is it hiding? Jaconia has a nephew who his brother taught to fish. I'm hoping he can shed some more light on the mystery. My uncles, he went fishing. Put the, the line to his leg and he sleep. So we put the line around his, around yeah. his foot so, yeah. so that he could go to sleep or rest and that would let him know when there was a fish on. Yeah. Catch the big fish. I think he just pulled it in on the water. But something very big came along yeah. and actually pulled him into the water. Yeah, in the water. Yeah. They find uh, the board uh, after uh, five days, if I, if I find a feather down. So he drowned? Yeah, he drowned. Melvin is convinced the killer was a fish, for the same reason that roused my suspicions, the missing hook from the hand line. And does anybody have any idea what kind of fish this could have been? I think uh, maybe sort of Solomon fish, you know the Solomon fish? The what fish? The... So, uh, Solomon fish. Looks like py python snake. So it's, it looks a bit like a snake? Yeah, like python snake. It's not a name I recognise, but it's the second time the potential killer has been described as a snake-like fish. The obvious candidate would be an eel, but I don't know any African eels strong enough to pull in a grown man. This sounds like something else. But is it really a fish that attacks in frenzied packs like the piranha? This is just incredible. The amount of activity is just incredible. This is a real phenomenon.